More than 25 years ago, Europe's iconic wall came tumbling down. Today, European nations are putting up new walls. It's an attempt to deal with a record number of migrants at its borders. Hungary's is nearly done. Along the border with Serbia, the government is building an 11.5 foot high fence to keep out the 2,000 or so migrants pouring into the country daily, many from war-torn Iraq, Syria, and Afghanistan. But for now, the massive undertaking has had the opposite of its intended effect. More migrants than ever are making the trip while they still can. Bulgaria has its own barrier in the works. When completed, the razor wire fence will seal off about 100 miles of the country's border with Turkey. And in Calais, in northern France, the British government has spent over $10 million on fencing and other security measures to prevent migrants from getting to the UK through the Channel Tunnel. These governments say the walls are both legal and necessary, but critics point out such barriers tend to only redirect migrants elsewhere, often to more dangerous routes. Take what's happened in Greece. To restrict the flow of migrants through its border with Turkey, the Greek government erected a 6.5 mile long wall in 2012. Today, those migrants are arriving by sea instead and in greater numbers. Between January and July of this year, as many as 124,000 refugees had reached Greece's shores. As for the fences, critics say they're not just ineffective, they're hypocritical. 60 years ago, in the middle of Hungary's revolution, some 200,000 Hungarians were refugees themselves. For Newsy, I'm Christian Bryant.